Today, I want to provide an overview of IC fabrication. And I'm not going to show every step in the fabrication process. That would be much too difficult for a 10 minute or a 15 minute video. But I want to show you enough to take the mystery out of IC fabrication. So I'd like to fabricate an N channel transistor. So let's start with a silicon wafer. And let's say that this is the surface of the wafer. And the wafer has a certain thickness that I'll show in this dimension. Now let's say that this is a p-type starting material. Now the first step is to grow a layer of silicon dioxide on the surface of this p-type wafer. So I'm going to show that in yellow. Now this is the silicon dioxide, which is the same as glass. So if I put an atmosphere of oxygen, and I have silicon here, this oxygen can be combined with the silicon and create glass or silicon dioxide. So let me erase some of these. Now I can put a chemical layer on top of this glass called photoresist. So I'm going to show that in red. So I put a uniform layer of photoresist. And now I want to do a masking step. I want to expose this photoresist. This is a light sensitive material. So I want to place a masking layer above this photoresist. And this masking layer will have dark part in the layer, which I'm showing here. And then it will have a transparent part that's out here. And what I want to do is I want to shine light from the top and expose the photoresist. And where I have the masking layer, the light is blocked by the mask. So what happens is that the photoresist becomes hard where the light hits it. And it remains soft where the light is blocked. So now I can remove the light I can remove my mask. And where it's hard, the photoresist will remain. And I can attack this resist with a chemical that will remove this soft region of the photoresist where the light was blocked. So let's remove that. And now I can, well, before I do that, let me just highlight this. Whoops, wrong color. Let me undo that. Let me highlight this glass region. This is silicon dioxide or glass. So what I can do now is I can put a chemical in here that will etch this glass away. So I'm going to edge away this region here. I'm going to chemically remove that. This region is going to form the region that's going to house my n-channel transistor. So let's Let's remove the photoresist. I don't need that anymore. It has done its job. So we remove 
this photo resist. And now I'm left with this glass layer in this region where my transistor is going to exist. So now I want to, what I want to do is grow a very thin layer of glass over the surface. So I'm going to grow a very thin layer and grow a very thin layer in this region above the silicon. And of course, a very thin layer over the entire surface here. So now what I want to do is I want to deposit a layer of polysilicon. And I'm going to show that in green. I'm going to deposit a layer over the surface of this wafer. And I'm going to do an, another masking step. But first, let's, let me just highlight this layer a little bit. So this is polysilicon, which is a resistive material. So let's do another masking step. I'm going to put a mask with a dark region. Let me change colors here. There's going to be a dark region in this mask here. And the other region is transparent. So again, I'm going to put a, well, before I put that mask, there's a step I left out. I need to put a layer of photoresist down here. So let me draw that in. And then after I deposit the photoresist, I put my mask down, shown in white, and I'm going to shine light and expose this photoresist. So where I have the mask layer, the light is blocked. And the photoresist has two different regions. It has a region under this mask. It's going to be this region here. And I'm going to use a kind of photoresist where this part remains hard. And when the light hits the other part, it becomes soft. And now I'm going to remove, let's remove our light, our mask. And let's chemically remove this part of the photoresist that's soft. And this part over here. Okay, now I have a region that's shielded. This photoresist is shielded. So now I can provide a chemical. Let me change my pen here. I can provide a chemical that will etch this polysilicon layer, this green layer, and remove this part that's not protected by this hardened photoresist. So let's remove, I'm going to chemically remove or etch away this green polysilicon layer. And I don't need the photoresist anymore, so we can, let's remove or photoresist. Now let's do a another fabrication step. Let's change pen pens here. Now let's say that I want to shoot in. I want to implant by shooting in n-type material over the surface of this wafer. 
And this thick glass region will block the end type. So the end type will be blocked by this glass and it will be blocked by this green polysilicon. So my end material will form the NMOS transistor source and drain region. And notice that the, the source and drain region, let me highlight it, this, this N-type silicon is actually put in after the gate is formed. And the reason that is done is the gate forms a, a self-aligning process. Let me, let me erase our implant here. So the beauty is that if my if my gate mass or my polysilicon mass is misaligned a little bit, when I put in a source and drain region, the the source and drain are this channel region underneath the gate is aligned perfectly with the gate. If the gate were to be misaligned a little bit, the source and drain region under the gate would would be aligned perfectly because they align to the gate. It's a self-aligned process. So let's lay both things. This is an n-type region. This is an n-type region. And this is my gate. And the voltage on this gate controls what happens in the channel region below the gate. So let's continue. Let me erase some of my marks here. Let's erase these arrows in the channel region. And I'm, I'm not going to show all the masking steps, but just to show you what we can do next is we can deposit another layer of glass over the surface here and over our our gate region over the surface. I can do another masking step. I can deposit photoresist. I can do another masking step and I can remove I can remove this glass region over my source and drain. Oh, so I won't show all the steps, but the steps are very similar to what I showed before. So I can remove by doing a masking step and photoresist, I can remove this region over my source and drain. And then I can deposit a layer of metal over the surface of this wafer. So I deposit a layer of metal. And then I can use another mask and, and another layer of photoresist and I can etch this metal away and I can have it remain here. So this is all metal. I can have it remain over this other diffusion region. So this is metal. And then, let's see, I can re remove the metal in this region. And I'm, again, I'm not showing all the steps. I just want to give you sort of an overview of how the processing works. Let's, so this is all glass here. So it's an insulating material. So the gate is insulated from the metal. This is insulated here. So now I formed a N-channel transistor with, let me change colors. So I have a, the red is, is metal that connects this region. I can call this the source. 
I have metal that connects to this other end region. I can call that the drain. And there may be metal in the third dimension that's connected to this, to the gate, but not shown in this particular cross-section. 